Hi and welcome to the Small Business Hero Show, the show that's all about and for small business. I'm Scott Trevor, and your host from Scott Partners and Go Global Bookkeeping. Today I'm talking with Maureen Pound. Now Maureen, uh, nine years ago, was a very bored but very well educated uh, employee. Today she is a very successful owner of two businesses, three investment properties, and has travelled to over 40 countries throughout the world, and done all this on less than 20 hours worth of week, worth of work per week. Uh, she's done all that without financial support of a partner as well. So, well done on that, Maureen, and welcome to the Small Business Hero Show. Thanks, Scott. So, tell me, your business is called uh, Business Coach for the Brave. Um, that sounds like a bit of a scary thing for uh, us people. So, why is it called Business Coach for the Brave? And tell us a little bit about what it does. Okay, sure. So, um, the business is actually Maureen Pound Coaching. Mm -hmm. um, my tagline or catch cry is Business Coach for the Brave because um, I came up with it after many years of people just referring to me as brave. Oh my goodness, you're brave. You start a business on your own, you've started another business, you've had two IVF kids on your own. Um, and so that's how I knew that I was seen and that's how I had so much success. Yep. Um, so I'm really about helping other people have success as well by being brave. Right. Um, so a typical client for me would be someone who'd been in business for quite a few years, um, but is just frustrated because they're either attracting the wrong sort of clients or it's stagnated and there's not enough growth for them. Um, so it's really about supporting those people um, to work through what's going on, work out really what they want to grow, and then go ahead and grow it. It's, it sounds beautiful. Do you work with any kinds of special kinds of businesses or in any particular fields? Um, actually, that's a really great question because often people will niche that way. And um, I actually argue that you don't have to. You don't have to be the coach for the accountants or um, whatnot. So I'm, you know, my niche are, are usually service-based businesses. Uh, and as I said, who've been in business um, for quite a few years, often creatives and very, very passionate um, about they, what they do. And also people who believe um, that business is more than just about information. So we actually, 40% um, of what we do is because of habits were formed after all these years of doing things the same way. So a habit for me is that I'm um, I'm sort of a last minute person. I'm, you know, like I'll get it done when it needs to be done. Yep. Um, but sometimes in business that hasn't served me well, as an example. So it's all right to say, oh yeah, change a habit in 30 days, it doesn't really work like that. I help people recognise what things they do well and they want to continue doing um, versus the things that you're just doing out of habit for all these years um, that maybe you might need to change. That's great. What sort of things do you, what, what sort of things would a business owner need to look for? The, the sort of symptoms that things might not be going exactly right, that they might need to use a, a service such as your own? Okay, that's a, uh, another great question. Um, so often they'll see it in the bottom line. So I've got to work with a business now who's uh, been going for 20 years um, and the, the landscape has changed. So, uh, you know, he's a, a graphic designer and branding expert, um, and he used to just go with referrals. His business was grown on referrals. Uh, and, you, you know, things have changed. There's more competition, there's um, different tools out there, and he realised that he was just doing things the same way, um, and uh, he wasn't getting the same results. So, um, he was getting mediocre results. So for him it was like, right, I just know I can do this, I need to change it up, um, and to sit down and spend the time with someone one-on-one -on -one to work through that stuff. Now I know it might actually be going against the grain of business today, that everything has to go online, mm -hmm. but I'm a bit of an old-fashioned girl, and there's nothing like old-fashioned support. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be face-to-face, -face, it can be Skype. But what people think about business is, if I've got enough resources or enough information, then I'm going to be successful. Because there's plenty of it out there. But you've got to have the combination of the resources plus you actually implementing. So for some people will have, you know, um, habits they've formed and they do the same way over and over again. So I help sit down with people and work through that stuff and have that one-on-one -on -one time for them to get things sorted in their head. Absolutely vital. I mean, it's that human connection that, that enables us to use the technology and all the information that's out there and, and put it into practical use. Because if you just read it and look at videos, it's not much use uh, unless you put it into practical form. So that's, yeah. 
And, it's, and the thing is, I don't want to be, you know, stand on my high horse and go, oh, yes, I'm perfect and I implement. I'm, that's the other thing too. I think I'm really real. And to have someone who say, yes, sometimes I feel like, like crap and I'm having a bad day yeah. and um, it's normal, but you just got to, you know, pick yourself up. Um, if you have got that person by your side who you can ring up and say, I was going to do this stuff, it's not happening, and have a conversation to get back on the horse rather than um, go and um, hide under a blanket. Because it's all too hard. Absolutely. Well, that's beautiful. Tell, tell us a little bit about your process. So how do you typically go about working with a client? Okay. So I'm big. It's taken me years, but I'm big on um, saying no these days. So um, the first step is to have a conversation and work out whether I'm the right person to help them or one of my coaches is the right person um, to help them. And we'll get them really clear on what they want. And in that process too, um, it's... I think intimate's the wrong word, yeah. but the relationship is that you, you have to actually have similar values and there's got to be respect there for it to work in the first place. So if I don't feel that, then in the very beginning, I'll either refer them on or, um, you know, just be really honest about it. Yeah. Um, and then if they, you know, if they do want to work with me or my team, um, then the process is that we hold their hand for at least 12 months. Yep. So I've been doing this um, actually 14 years um, and people, you can go for three months results but you don't get enough, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? So over that 12 months um, they have coaching and of course the information is important as well um, and I have relationships with you know great accountants and the other, the other people so that they can get what they need from around yep. but that I'm that person there to support them over that um, 12 months. And they determine in the very beginning what they want, mm -hmm. which is different different from everyone. Sure. So one client, he wanted to have the business running well enough and enough business um, to cycle around Cuba for a month. Wow. So he did that. Um, another person, we had a few conversations and she realised she had the largest adult dance school in Australia and she realised that what she really wanted to do was to be able to sell. And so as soon as she had that moment of the blinding obvious mm -hmm. but you know then we could work on it before that she was all she was confused absolutely essential i mean the number of clients that we work in our accounting firm that that aren't quite sure why they're still doing what they do and and it's very difficult for sometimes for us as accountants to to get that out of them and to to draw out out of them that's essentially what you guys do as, as business coaches in, in drawing that out, using yeah, experience yeah. to do that. And I'm different, like I'm, there's horses for courses. So there are other business coaches out there who are more like consultants mm -hmm. and they will do an overview of your business and pinpoint what they think. Mm -hmm. This is, this is um, I've you know trained coaches around the world. It's true coaching where you, it's about you getting your, your head right I can give you my opinion based on my business experience and what other clients have done, yep. but it starts with you because there is that old adage that ideas are like children. We like our own the best. I right. don't know if you, <laughs> sometimes I don't like mine that much. <laughs> I love them, yes or no, so I do love them. But you know what I mean? Like, so no matter what we tell, we, you know, if we can see something and they can't see it for themselves, yep. then they're not going to act on it. Yep. So it's about giving them the time and space to actually um, act on it and get other professionals around with them to help, like um, um, like you guys. Do you know what I mean? Yep. So um, I'm not trying to be all things to all people, um, and you know they need to they need to get outside support. So that's a big learning for me about getting support in your business. So I'm getting an impression that that your coaching style is very much around say emotionally intelligent type of working so understanding it's the emotions it's the understanding the person first and then the business second whereas someone like us uh, or accountants um, or, or other more analytical business coaches will very much uh, take a formula driven approach to a business uh, without actually looking at the the, the um, psyche behind what the business owner is doing and how they're doing it yeah and that's yeah really insightful um scott and it's it's about you actually looking at your own psyche. Um, so coaching is actually, um, it's based on positive psychology. So what it is, is where you are now and where you, where you want to um, get to. So you don't like counselling or something like that. You're actually looking at the past. Mm -hmm. This is right, okay, I'm in this situation now. 
where do I want to, you know, get to? So I want to get, you know, I want to turn over another million dollars in the next 12 months or whatever it is. Then how do I get there? And so as you're getting there, you find out where all the cracks are. Yep. So a little bit like, you know, the footy coach, we, you know, we work out we want to win the, win the grand final. We go out in the field and we start playing and we soon find out that the teamwork's stuffed at the moment. Right. Or where, you know, whatever's happening, the way we're a bit um, short on, um, it, it, you know, um, in the in the centre, and we're not getting enough. You know, ball. Ball. <laughs> My father was actually an AFL umpire. He would be horrified. He would be. He would be. Anyway, so I won't use the footy analogy. Anymore, so. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah. Like it's about. So then, by doing, then you find out where where you're stuffing up or what's not working, and then you can um, tweak. And that's been the biggest learning for me for my own business is like I was at the forefront of technology years ago in terms of, you know, um, we used to send out e-zines. This is like 12 years ago yeah. and huge open rates. I did Facebook and got um, 21 grand from one ad that cost me a dollar. And I've done all this great stuff, but I didn't, I was a bit scared. I didn't capitalise on it. And, and so, and, and then go, okay, what's the learning from that? What comes next? And I'm doing that much more now and business is much more successful. So that's my biggest learning. And so for people, it's the same. Give it a crack. And when you do, then go back and analyse and work out what elements, what was it about that ad that made it successful? Um, and what's the next step? Like, how can I then um, do that again in an even bigger and better way? That's fantastic, Maureen. I mean, I'm, I'm sure we could explore and, and go into different areas all day. Um, but for those people who are watching us uh, today, um, how can they get in contact with you? Um, so um, you can Google Maureen Pound. Um, hopefully my SEO is pretty good and uh, I'm on the first page. Can I be honest, I, when I was researching for this interview, yes I do research in the yeah. second series of Small Business Heroes, um, I, I did the OK Google, tell me about business coach for the brave, and, and Google told me that Maureen Pound is a business coach. Oh, so well, there you go, that's good. SEO yes. second to none. Yes. So, um, and also really handy, I got on a forum years ago, someone recommended me on a forum, and it's come up for the last seven years. I still come up on the first yeah. page of Google for Google Business Coach Melbourne because of forums. <laughs> yes, another tip. Um, yes, so you can um, just Google Maureen Pound or info at MaureenPound.com. And we will even put down uh, Maureen's address underneath the, uh, this video, so on our landing page, so that you can click on that as well. Great. Um, um, a telephone number to call? Um, yeah, sure. Just... Um, 0405 50 um, That's in Australia. Fantastic. But I do work with people around the world through Skype and... Um, and travelling there personally by the sounds of it. Yeah, <laughs> to Asia, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd just like to congratulate you. I think this is a fantastic um, initiative. Thank you, um, To um, share um, all those fantastic businesses out there. Well, we call it Small Business Heroes because we passionately believe that like your, the name of your business, uh, Business Coaching for the Brave, that anyone who's a small business owner is a real hero in this, in this uh, economic environment and deserves a lot more than what they currently get. So that's what we're all about. Thank you very much for that. Um, I'm your host, Scott Trevithan from Scott Partners Chartered Accountants and also now Go Global Bookkeeping Services. Um, it's been a pleasure to bring this Small Business Heroes episode to you. Um, thank you, Maureen, very much for coming. No worries.